So right here you can see us working on the job case. This is where the letters are housed, and you can see right above the little cheat sheet that tells you where the type is. It's really crucial to familiarize yourself with the position of the type to make loading the composing stick more efficient. As you set type, it's important to hold the composing stick in the manner shown. It looks and feels pretty awkward, but it's a position that allows you to use your thumb to keep the type in place as you load the stick. The type is placed upside down on the stick, left to right. For the blank spaces in between words, spacers are used, and you could see earlier that we had gathered quite a pile of them. For our ballad, we worked in pairs, but typically a typesetter would be working by herself. Working in pairs meant a faster process overall, but even with two hands, we still made quite a few mistakes. Here, you can see how the type from the composing stick is loaded onto the bed. It's especially important to keep everything as tight as possible so that the type itself doesn't move during the printing process. We have now transferred the type from the various composing sticks onto a loading bed. Once these are firmly in place, we also put the wood block carvings onto the bed, making sure that both the blocks and the type are nice and tight. Then we place the furniture onto the bed. These are the pieces that fill in the blank spaces around the type and the woodcuts. Tamping down on the type and the wood blocks helps us make sure that the type is secure and prevents the inking mishaps that occur when one type piece is higher than the others. The ink is evenly distributed on a flat surface. It's thicker than you might expect with a rubbery sheen. Once the ink is flattened out and smooth, we can apply it to the type with a rubber roller. Now the ink is ready for application. In order for it to be distributed evenly on both the individual type and the woodcuts, the ink is rolled horizontally, vertically, and diagonally in a number of smooth movements. After all these steps, we're ready to work the press. After loading in the paper, we place a thick sheet on top to increase the pressure exerted onto the ballad allowing for a clearer result. Once the paper has been loaded, we roll in the bed and pull the lever. If you pull too hard, you risk breaking the type, so we go slowly at first. Then we roll back the bed and see our result. It needs a little more pressure, which we will slowly add over the course of the process. <clears throat> 